In this screencast, we're going to look at how to use New South Wales Globe um, data that's being put together, spatial data that's being put together by the um, land and property and New South Wales government. And it's a really useful tool uh, to investigate all types of geographical features of the state of New South Wales, both human and natural. So the first thing we need to do is go to this website and download the KML file. So we'll click on the KML file and we'll see that it will appear in your downloads folder. So once it's downloaded, that will maybe take some time, you need to click on New South Wales Globe. And it will automatically open Google Earth. So once that loads, we need to have a look at our state of New South Wales. Now we can see that the images of New South Wales differ somewhat from the other states. It's because the imagery is different. But what we're going to look at, if we have a look over here in the bottom left, if we expand this, let's zoom into a particular location which some of you may be familiar with. Let's go to Let's go to Bago Bluff, this area. So, about here. Okay. So, what we're going to learn how to do is to create the topographic overlay. So, here on the bottom left, where my cursor is, we can see that we have uh, both imagery and terrain uh, selected. If we were to turn off imagery, would be left with Google's imagery. But we can see how that changes, so different imagery that's been stitched together. So we want a topographic map overlay of this location. So let's select contour. So now we have our contour lines overlaid on our um, satellite uh, images. So if we hold down uh, command, we can move around and then let's zoom in a little more and then we can see the maybe the characteristics of Bago Bluff. We get a 3D view of that location. So now that we can see that we've got the topography or the shape of the land represented by obviously the 3D shape of uh, the Google Earth imagery, but also the, the contour lines, which, as we all know, um, join um, places of equal height. So quite a useful tool. Now let's zoom back out, let's orientate our map, and then we can zoom back in. So this feature that you have here is called North Brother Mountain. If we take contour layer off, we can see uh, simply the satellite imagery. Now let's select contour layer again, and we have the topographic overlay. So a very useful tool uh, to identify the topographic features of a landscape.